Siloam Springs, Arkansas, located in the middle south of the United States in the northwest corner of the natural state of Arkansas. Siloam Springs is more specifically located on the far west side of Benton County, Arkansas, on the Arkansas-Oklahoma state line, and is still considered part of the locally known NWA metropolitan area. First inhabitants include both the Cherokee and Osage Native Americans. Siloam Springs has a population of just over 18,000 residents. Welcome to Siloam Springs, Arkansas. Hey, welcome back to the channel, my friend, where we talk about everything there is to know about living in or around Bentonville, Arkansas. Of course, today we're here in downtown Siloam Springs to give you a comprehensive tour of what life is like, the schools, the city, and everything there is to know about Siloam Springs, Arkansas. As I always do on these city tours, many find it interesting and sometimes entertaining to have a little bit of a history lesson before we go around on our full city tour. Let's go ahead and rewind the clock all the way back to the mid 1830s when it was believed that German immigrant Simon Sager and his family built the very first homestead, not only in modern day Siloam Springs, but in all of Northwest Arkansas. Now this may be a conspiracy theory of mine, but if you think back to the tour of Rogers, Sylvanus Blackburn and his family also came to Northwest Arkansas in the early 1830s. So it might be a bit of conspiracy actually who built the first homestead in Northwest Arkansas. But according to my sources, the dates might just be a little off. I digress. The home Sager built was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1976, and you can visit it on the campus of John Brown University. We're going to cover that a little bit later in the video. In 1879, it was found that there were 28 springs around what is now known as Siloam Springs that were supposed to have medical or healing properties to them. So that caused a lot of people to move to the area to enjoy the benefits of a fountain of youth, if you will. And no doubt with the railway also coming through Siloam Springs, the increase of westward expansion downtown areas started to grow. No better place to build the downtown area than on the banks of what is known as Sager Creek. Hardware stores, general stores, goods and sundry stores, restaurants, specialty shops like barbershops started popping up all around town. With the increase in population, of course, education of all the townspeople's kids became important as well. Today, Siloam Springs has two elementary schools in succession. Grades one through two are at Allen Elementary School. Grades two and three are at Southside Elementary School. Then there's the intermediate school, which houses fifth and sixth graders. Behind me is Siloam Springs Middle School, which is grades seven through eighth. And then of course, on the east side of town is Siloam Springs High School with grades nine through 12. Siloam Springs Panthers High School was recently ranked by US News as the 5,370th school in the entire country. According to Niche.com, they're ranked 35th of the 244 school districts in Arkansas. Once you're graduated from high school, you can simply travel 2.6 miles away and earn an undergraduate or graduate degree from John Brown University. John Brown is a private interdenominational Christian school located on the west side of town. On the 200 acre campus are around 1,200 students and about 800 of them live on campus, 2,300 students in all. One of the most interesting things about JBU, at least I like to think so, is a tradition that they've had for 40 years known as the TP game, where 2,000 rolls of TP are thrown onto the court at the first score of JBU's first basketball home game each season. And here it is on the campus of John Brown University, my friend, Simon Sager's original homestead that was moved here not too long ago, but again on the National Register of Historic Places. You could learn more about Siloam Springs history at the Siloam Springs Museum. Moving on to parks and trails, we're here at City Lake Park north of the downtown area. In this area, although some of the best mountain biking is going to be over in Bentonville and Bella Vista, right here by City Lake Park on the north side, there are also some trails you could check out here in Siloam Springs. Besides the mountain biking, you can check out the pump track, play frisbee golf, and go fishing, of course. You could throw your kayak in the lake and paddle around as well. Many of the city parks offer pavilions and gazebos for you to use. You just might want to double check with the city on reserving them. Recently, my family was at Memorial Park where we watched Ozark Ballet Theater perform classical ballet, music, and opera. One of Siloam Springs' coolest features is the Siloam Springs kayak park that you see behind me. There are Class 1 and Class 2 rapids, a swimming area, 
picnic area for families to enjoy, located right here on the Illinois River, just south of Siloam Springs. As a realtor, this next topic is absolutely my favorite topic to talk about, and that's real estate. Siloam Springs offers apartments, duplexes, small single family homes, as well as large real estate estates further out on the edges of town. As of late, the average home that sold in Siloam Springs was a three bed, two bath, 1733 square foot home, which sold for around $294,000. Of course, that range was from $77,000 on the low end up to 1.3 million on the high end. That average three bed, two bath, 1800 square foot home, you can anticipate about $1,500 to $2,000 a year for property taxes. Of course, speak with your real estate agent to make sure that the taxes are what you are anticipating on the property that you're looking for. All right, my friend, enough about taxes. Bring on the food, fun, and farmer's market. Like any good town should, Siloam Springs is no different. And of course, they have their own farmer's market. That's right, every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. from May to October, in the city park located on the corner of Mount Olive and University is the Siloam Springs Farmer's Market. They also have an online market to order food and support local farmers. If needed, you can fill out an order on their website or visit their Facebook page for more information. For a beer, be sure to check out Ivory Bills Brewing Company or Creekside Tap Room to get some Arkansas beer. For food, we have chain restaurants, but you should definitely come downtown. I, for one, and my cameraman James, we're going to head on in to Fratelli's for some wood-fired pizza. Now, if you're like me, when I heard the word Fratelli, this is kind of what I thought of, but no, we're talking about pizza. Different family. If kitschy cool coffee shops are your thing, you could head on over to Poor John's. Looking for different types of shops? There's a bakery, there's Cafe on Broadway, which is right behind me. There's another little ice cream shop downtown. Definitely check out downtown Siloam Springs. When you're in downtown Siloam Springs, be sure to look at what you're walking on. The red bricks that are all throughout downtown Siloam Springs are part of the city's culture, and you can see that some of them are engraved. The names that you see engraved have been donated by the individual respective person that helped pave the downtown brick sidewalk. According to local history, the Crown Motel is the oldest building in Siloam Springs. For fun, you could head west into Oklahoma just over the border and go to the casino. You could go golfing, fishing, watch a game at JBU or the local high school Panthers, take your family or meet your friends at the Aquatic Center. Travel down the road to the heart of Northwest Arkansas and catch a concert at the Arkansas Music Pavilion. Catch a home run with the Arkansas Naturals. You could visit one of Bentonville's eight museums. Spend time on Beaver Lake or a bit further and float the Buffalo National River in Ponca. Or if you're feeling even more adventurous, head up the street to Branson, Missouri and watch a show or go experience a roller coaster at Silver Dollar City. By the way, the Christmas lights at Silver Dollar City are amazing. You may be saying, wow, Anthony, this is great, but how in the world do we get to Siloam Springs? Well, my friend, you're in luck. As Highway 412 that stretches from Springer, New Mexico, all the way to, I believe it's pronounced Haiti, Missouri, almost all the way to Tennessee, passes right through Siloam Springs. Siloam Springs is about 20 minutes west of the I-49 corridor, but maybe you want to fly. XNA National Airport is just a short 20-minute country drive to the northeast of Siloam Springs. Do you have your own airplane? Maybe you could even fly into Siloam Springs Municipal, known as Smith Field, located on the east side of Siloam Springs. Whether you're looking to move to the area or just curious about Siloam Springs, now you know a little bit more about what life is like in and around Bentonville. Thanks for watching.